Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. I am Joe LaCava, and I have the honor to serve at the San Diego City Council President Pro Tem and Chair of the City's Environment Committee. And I'm pleased to welcome you all to Council District 1, home of UC San Diego, and now our brand new fire station, 52. I want to first... Yeah. <laughs> There will be plenty of opportunities, but join in. I want to first recognize the people that are with us today that have contributed to the creation of this new fire station, and many of whom you will be hearing from shortly. Joining us today are Mayor Todd Gloria, District 6 Council Member Kent Lee, UC San Diego Chancellor Pradeep Kosla, San Diego Fire Rescue Chief Robert Logan, Acting Director of the City's Engineering and Capital Projects Department, Elif Chetan, University City Community Association President Gemma Samala, University City Planning Group Chair Chris Nielsen, and of course, and the real reason we're here, a big shout out to our Fire Rescue Department and all the employees that serve us every day. Today, the City of San Diego, our first responders, UC San Diego and community leaders come together to open the Torrey Pines Fire Station. This newest station exemplifies the city's commitment to public safety, support for our first responders, sustainability, and our continued partnership with UC San Diego. UC San Diego is one of the fastest growing universities in the nation in one of the fastest growing communities in San Diego. It is critical that city's public safety infrastructure meets the needs of students, staff, and economics on the campus and the neighboring residents and the rapidly expanded businesses in the Torrey Pines, Mesa, La Jolla, and University City communities. Whether it is growth on campus, and there is certainly plenty of growth, or new companies on the Mesa, Station 52 gives us the preparedness and proximity that is essential during an emergency. The ability to respond immediately will save lives and keep San Diegans safer. That level of protection and security was only made possible in delivering this station through the partnership with UC San Diego. And we will hear from Chancellor Kosla in a moment. But this fire station is a symbol of UC San Diego's continued partnership with the city and its residents. The land we are standing on today was provided by this campus. This project could not have been completed as efficiently as it has been without the continued support from UC San Diego. Thank you, Chancellor Kosla, for your partnership to bring this critical public safety resource to the campus and the city. Now, as we have seen from what has been happening on campus, if we're going to build a fire station, it could not be just any ordinary fire station. For both the city and the university, we needed to build and operate a building that serves the community today and prepares us for the challenges of tomorrow. For this reason, we designed a new fire station and equipped it with vehicles that will meet our public safety needs effectively and sustainably. The Torrey Pines Fire Station furthers our city's commitment to an all-electric future through our deployment of the city's first electric fire engine, that baby right there, and the city's first rapid electric vehicle charging station. This will allow our firefighters to maintain their high standard of excellence while advancing the city's fleet electrification goals. I would like to thank former Chief Colin Stoll for his efforts to secure the state-of-the-art fire engines and move San Diego towards an all-electric fleet and future. Furthermore, as chair of the San Diego Community Power, I'm always proud to the tout the city's commitment to using 100% renewable energy in all municipal buildings, including the Torrey Pines Fire Station here today. Now to speak more about the efforts that made Fire Station 52 possible, I'll turn it over to Chancellor of UC San Diego and the city's proud partner in completing this fire station, Chancellor Pradeep Kosla. Chancellor. Thank you, Council Member. It uh, really is a great honor for me to be here, and thank you, everybody, for finding time in your morning to be here. Uh, this project clearly exemplifies the strong commitment that UC San Diego has to our local community, but also to the city and the county of San Diego. It also exemplifies the strong partnership we have with the city and the way we can collaborate with each other. So this is just one of many examples uh, that UC San Diego 
has in terms of the collaboration between us and the city. Um, like the council member said, it was a great honor. When I first got here, this was on the docket. It took a little while to figure out uh, how would the UC bureaucracy work and how would we be able to carve out a piece of our property and give it to the city. And similarly, it took a little while for them to figure out even if I gave it to them for free, what would it take for them to accept it? Uh, it's amazing how no, it's amazing how complicated it is, and how all, all the legalities come into play. But I'm so glad uh, that we were able to work it. It took a little while, but it was an amazing collaboration. Where at the end of the day, uh, this piece of property we transferred to the city with another 20.5 million dollars. I'm sure that was not enough. By the time this was started, I'm sure this, it, there were cost overruns. I don't know that, but I assume. Uh, but this is an amazing fire station. I think we need this to improve the response time for our community members. Uh, we need to, for, to the, for the response time for UC San Diego itself. So I cannot thank the city enough for really carving out piece of their budget to really uh, invest out here and give us a fire station, not just for UC San Diego, but for the broader community out here. So I want to say thank you to everybody who was involved. Uh, I want to also thank uh, the, the people from UC San Diego who made it happen, uh, who really greased the skids for, for us out here, the people from the city, uh, especially the, uh, lawyer, the attorney's office, and the San Diego Fire Department for accepting this and for really making a commitment to create Station 52, like right here for all of us. So let me just hand this over to our Chief of Fire, uh, 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 Chief Logan, sir, your turn. Thank you. Good morning. What a great day to officially open this beautiful fire station, Fire Station 52, and serve the community of Torrey Pines and UC San Diego campus. This fire station projected, project started as a proposal back in 2010 by former, by former city, city council member Sherry Leitner, Fire Chief Javier Maynard, and Chancellor Fox. We're excited to share the results of the, San, of the partnership between the City of San Diego and, and UC San Diego Partnership. This state-of-the-art fire station, Station 52, was designed by Miller Hall Partnerships and built by Level 10 Construction. This two-story, 14,600 square foot fire station features three apparatus bays, an office, a workout room, a first floor equipment locker room, the second floor comprises of nine sleeping quarters, including a battalion chief's room, kitchen, and ready room. This station is designed into three fire safety zones, living, cleaning, and decontamination when returning from, when returning from emergencies. It also includes the first City of San Diego's fire, electric fire engine, or Voltaire fire, fire engine. We could not have constructed this beautiful fire station without the generous support and, and donations from UC San Diego and the Chancellor. I also want to thank Mayor Gloria, Council Member Pro Tem LaCava, and the rest of the City Council for their continued support and dedication to public safety. I would like to quickly recognize the fantastic, hardworking individuals that contributed to the success of this fire station. Members of the city, members of city attorney's office and dream, engineering and capital projects team, Jason Garney, Bill Gibson, Monica Ariando, Manuel Meza, and Abdai Osman. And finally, the San Diego Fire and Rescue Department's team that worked very tirelessly and hard on this project. Assistant Chief uh, James Gabry, Deputy Fire Chief Ted Moran, Stephanie Bernanke and others. So please take some time after this press conference to look around at this great fire station and appreciate all the technology that's gone into it to not only keep our fire department and our firefighters safe, but to cut down our response times and serve this community. Our number one goal as a fire department is to serve the community and meet the needs of the people that we serve. And with that being said, I now would like to introduce Gemma Samala, the president of University City Community Association. Uh, 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Gemma Samala, and as president of the University City Community Association and founder of the Fire Safe Council of University City five years ago, our goals then and now are to work with the fire department in educating our community to become fire safe and to practice fire wise methods at home. We have been anticipating the opening of this Torrey Pines fire station as it was already included in the university community plan update with the support of the University City Planning Group. And we're very happy to see it opening today. With this new Fire Station 30, uh, 52, along with Fire Stations 35 and 50, the residents of University City and our surrounding communities of La Jolla and the UCSD campus can all feel comfortable in knowing that we live, work, and go to school in a more fire safe area since we are geographically surrounded by canyons. We thank all the parties responsible for the construction of our new fire station and we especially thank the City of San Diego for successfully getting it done. Thank you. And now the Mayor. Gemma, thank you for those words and to you and Chris and all the UC residents who are here today to celebrate this milestone. As our Chancellor was making, uh, making it clear, it's been a while, but we're here. And that's what persistence, uh, how it pays off. Uh, I want to thank uh, Council President Pro Tem Joe LaCava, whose district we're in uh, today. He is a great leader for this community, as well as his stewardship of the Environment Committee, of which obviously this uh, property uh, is an example of that stewardship. So Joe, thanks for what you do. We're also joined, as you may know, by City Council Member Kent Lee. Uh, a lot of his constituents will be well served by this facility. I'm glad to have both of them here today. Uh, much has been said. Let me try and wrap this up uh, as, as efficiently as I can. Uh, but we would not be out here without the partnership of UC San Diego. And I want to thank uh, Chancellor Pradeep Kosla uh, for his continued partnership with the city. Uh, it is not just this project, it's a multitude of things all across the city. And we're all better off uh, when both levels of government are working together, the UC and the state government, along with the city of San Diego. In this case today, it's about public safety uh, here in the Torrey Pines Mesa. Uh, soon enough, it'll be about cultural offerings uh, in downtown San Diego, and I'm looking forward to that. He's already made substantial commitments to housing, which I deeply appreciate. Uh, in terms of the word about partnership, I want to thank the UC communities and all the surrounding neighborhoods. You know, we have uh, in recent years uh, updated the uh, blueprints for these neighborhoods, uh, asking them to grow with us as a community. Uh, this is a very, very special and important part of our city. Uh, the life sciences and innovation sector economy that is concentrated in this community is growing, it's thriving, uh, and importantly, we need to make sure that we keep up with that growth. This growth is creating good paying local jobs that help San Diegans support themselves and their families. And so we want to encourage that investment in this community, recognizing that those innovation jobs can go anywhere in the world, uh, but they choose to be here in San Diego. And this is one of the ways that we're going to continue to make sure that they choose us when they uh, choose to expand and grow their businesses. Uh, so I appreciate that. The last word of partnership would be to our city team that brings these things together. Uh, they do an exceptional job of working on infrastructure. They know that their mayor is very keen on seeing more infrastructure, right, Alif? Yeah. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> We want to pave the roads, we want to build the fire stations, the libraries, the parks, and these folks are absolutely working their hearts out and delivering. This is not the first time the media and I have been together even this month on uh, ribbon cuttings on properties and projects that have been long on the books, but that we're actually getting done and putting out in the community. A leap to you, to our engineering capital projects team, to our real estate team, to everyone. I de deeply appreciate it. And of course, we have to say to our firefighters, to our paramedics, uh, to our first responders who are here, they have my absolute utmost respect for the work that they do each and every single day. These are not nine to five jobs, everybody. This is 365, 24 seven, and they deserve first class uh, a facility like this to make sure that as they're doing that difficult work of keeping us safe, uh, that they're able to do it in, a, in an environment that shows them the respect of our community. So to every first responder who is here, thank you for what you guys do. Let me conclude with this observation. From day one of serving as your mayor, my administration has been focused on four main priorities that San Diegans care the most about. Addressing homelessness, building more housing, rebuilding our aging infrastructure, and keeping you and your family safe. Today, with Fire Station 52, we are delivering on two of those main priorities. Fire Station 52 enhances public infrastructure, serving this neighborhood, and lowering the fire rescue response times in this thriving corner of America's finest city. 
We know that every second matters in an emergency, and Fire Station 52 will ensure that our first responders can get to you faster to save lives and protect property. And the City of San Diego will continue to make investments in our fire safety uh, uh, response system uh, to make sure that neighborhoods all across the city have the adequate coverage that they need. In recent years, we have opened new fire stations in City Heights, Little Italy, Mission Valley, Point Loma, Hillcrest, and now in Torrey Pines. And that's in addition to the renovated stations in La Jolla, Mira Mesa, North Park, and in Southcrest. Our stations are nothing without the personnel that do the work. And again, this is why we have to deliver on them. And the, the last observation is on the issue of climate. Joe hit it perfectly. Uh, but this is, a com as the author of the city's climate action plan, this is us living out that plan. It's not just a document with some nice words on a page somewhere down at City Hall. We are living it uh, in every day when we do the work uh, of making improvements like this one. This EV fire uh, uh, engine is one of the first in the entire country, and it's right here in San Diego. The world knows that we are serious about protecting our climate. They know that San Diego has the best weather on earth, and so we're very much interested in protecting our climate. And this is how we make that wor those words come to life. That's how we show this commitment is real. Uh, and I could not do it without Chief Logan, without the city council, led by Joe LaCava and Kent Lee, and all of you here today. So this is a great day uh, for San Diego. I'm not surprised by the turnout. We've been long waiting for this, but I think this station was worth the wait. Do you all agree? Fantastic. Well, congratulations on this grand opening. Let's go make it official. Thanks, everybody. One, two, three. All right. All right. All right.